It's been a long time coming because it's opened elsewhere quite some time ago. So the story is Wreck-It Ralph um, is the bad guy from uh, Fix-It Felix uh, video arcade game, which is nearly 30 years old. His job in the video game is to break a building, which is then fixed by the hero of the game. He is starting to think there must be more to life than just breaking things. In fact, I don't know that I just want to be a villain anymore. Here's a clip. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. You're not going turbo, are you? Turbo? No, I'm not going turbo. Come on, guys. Is it turbo to want a friend? Or a medal? Or a piece of pie every once in a while? Is it turbo to want more out of life? Yes. Ralph, Ralph, we get it. But we can't change who we are. And the sooner you accept that, the better off your game and your life will be. Hey, one game at a time, Ralph. Now let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. Okay. <clears throat> I'm bad, and that's, that's good. good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Of course, what happens is he he's not content with doing that, so he does go turbo. This is John C. Riley doing the voice there? Does go turbo, breaks out of the game, leaves the game, goes off into other lands. Firstly, goes off into a uh, a science fiction first person first person shooter bug hunt uh, uh, game, in which he says, "When do video games get so violent?" Then ends up in this kind of Candyland racing game, in which he meets up with a young girl who has got a computer glitch and therefore is not meant to be in the game. She's like a fault in the program, and her desperate desire is to actually actually win a race and therefore actually properly become part of the game but it's complicated reasons as to why she can't do that and so he then have, therefore has to team up with her because he needs to win a medal so that he can be something other than a villain she needs to win a race so that she can become something other than a computer glitch two things to say first thing is there's a lovely supporting feature i mean it's part it, it comes after the bbfc title so it is in theory part of the main feature which is called paper man which is a black and white little animation lovely little animation about a man and a woman who meet each other very briefly on a train station and then look at each other from the windows of these two tower blocks and he's throwing uh paper airplanes across and it's really beautifully observed and it's a really nice thing with these uh animations that we're getting these sort of short films i mean for example that short film recently taken which was just wonderful remember about the alien abduction which was really brilliant brilliant you know sort of silent cinema all wordless works really well in terms of wreck it ralph itself um it's available in 2 and 3d i saw it in 3d i would try i wanted to see it in 2d but the performance times didn't quite match up but it's actually i mean it's it's, it's really good fun the characters are well drawn um the voiceovers are done very well and you know it's exciting it has a really for, for somebody of my age it has a kind of nice nostalgic retro thing going on because obviously it's drawing on several sources i mean on the one hand you've got tron in the background of that to suppose to some extent you've got last starfighter you've got all those things about going into video machines and being sucked into the machine and you know and ending up jumping from one game to the other so it's a simple conceit it's a sort of you know it's a it's a very simple premise the question is whether you make that work in a way that makes you care about the characters and again i did you do end up caring about i mean although the, the i mean interestingly enough at the background of all of this there's kind of monsters inc because there's a great similarity not only between john c Riley voice and what John Goodman was doing with Sully but also between and the young girl who when you first meet her actually does look a lot like Boo and as soon as something invokes Monsters Inc you think oh blimey it's going to fall flat on its face because invoking Monsters Inc is like invoking Shakespeare or like invoking Citizen Kane it's a very dangerous thing to do and it not only does it manage to invoke it it manages to get away with it I thought it was really good fun I really enjoyed it I saw it in a packed screening of school kids who were incredibly well behaved it was at the view in westfield this morning and whoever those school kids were they were really well behaved and we all enjoyed it